So the question is, does can you restore a population with pen rear clip? And the short answer to that is, I've never seen it happen. Restore a population from zero with pen rear quail to a wild bird population. So typically when you're releasing bird, pen rear birds, it's in the fall, you know, September, um, October time period. Typically you're doing it for hunting purposes. Only about 5% of those individuals that survive make it to the next breeding season, right? We have a phrase, we often say, dead hens don't lay eggs. And so you've got to get those birds to carry over winter into the breeding season in order for them to reproduce. So only 5% of those birds are making it, the pen rear birds, to, to the breeding season. So the next question is, if they make it, do they mate and reproduce and have successful nests? Yes, yes, and yes. But they're horrible parents. So they don't know how to efficiently teach the young how to survive and to forage. Why is that? Because they're pen reared. They weren't taught that themselves, right? And so that's one of the, the interesting dynamics between a pen reared and a, a, a wild bird that you that a lot of time goes um, unchecked. And so there's been some other research that's done um, some imprinted chicks and try to do that parenting behavior. And, and that has had some mixed results. But to answer your question, no, not that I know of. Without continually putting birds back, keep putting birds. Now translocation, which is a capture of wild birds, um, is very effective. We've translocated 6,002 quail to date. That's since 2002. And by doing translocation, we've recovered a little over 75,000 acres of wild quail land through translocation. That works. We've never had one fail, um, but the reason why we haven't had one fail is because of what these guys are talking about with getting habitat right. We won't do a translocation until the habitat is 110% there. Right, so that, that's key. Um, what we have seen is typically when you're releasing birds, pen reared birds, you're doing in really large numbers. And so we will see that those birds will displace the wild birds. Now, does that mean that they won't mix with the wild birds? No, we've seen that too, that they'll mix. Um, in terms of survivability, we have seen survival go down. I don't know if it's a behavior issue you're talking about. I think personally, it's uh, more related to the predator context. Is these predators, the hawks and the meso predators, the bobcats and foxes and the other things that are after them, they start learning um, and getting a what we call a search image for these quail. <coughs> the, the pen rear quail are easier to catch. 